Well, we have a special guest joining us now, Missy Gandy, and Missy has quite the story to tell. Many of you are probably familiar with the uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul books that are out there. Well, we don't need that because we have Missy <laughs> joining us. And Missy, you um, have survived cancer. I have. And um, your story is remarkable. And um, let's go from maybe when you were first diagnosed, if okay. we could. Um, what your symptoms were and then how your life just has taken off from there. It's it's definitely been crazy, yeah. but I found out in May of 2011 that I had rectal cancer and with vaginal involvement, but from there it has actually been God yes. leading the way every step of the way. Yes. So were you feeling sick? No, I actually started bleeding rectally. Okay. I was on vacation with a friend from up here uh -huh. in Florida and it, so I went to my doctor and she sent me to the GI and he's the one that told me. And you had pain or no pain? No pain. I had no pain. Okay. And it just happened like that on your vacation? Um, I believe it, it did. Maybe okay. a little bit before. I can't really remember but yes, on vacation. Okay. Yeah. And then you were getting, given the diagnosis, and did you ever, in a million years, think cancer would never, be part of your Never, never crossed my mind, not one time, no. And absolutely. how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 45. Okay. Yeah. So you're very young, and um, you were given this diagnosis, and, you know, I know that people who have been diagnosed with cancer will say that they are stunned, but that all of a sudden things happen really fast. You have so many decisions to make. I did, yeah. It was... It was crazy, but the first thing is I went to church and prayed. With my family had come down, my brother, my sister-in-law, my grandma, my cousin, and it was it was a wonderful thing. I, I it, you just felt peace. And don't you wonder how people survive their their hardest moments without prayer? I do, I do, because I wouldn't be here. I really don't believe I would be here if yeah. there if it wasn't for prayer. Yeah, because I, th I think you had said before cameras started rolling that um, when they prayed for you, you did, you, fe you felt that sense of peace. But really, wouldn't you say that's when your healing began? I believe so. And even my brother, we were at my house in Memphis and he said, I don't think it will ever come back. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, I remember those words. Yeah. And, and it was something internal that you felt with this piece? Oh, yeah, Did absolutely. you feel it working Oh, I just physically? felt, yeah, just like a lifted, like, you know, a ton of bricks have been lifted off your shoulders. Yeah. It was definitely amazing. So then after that, um, you know, they gave you that, that will and the ability to go on to the next step. Then what was that next step? Um, I, went to, I went to treatment. I started my treatment. And then September 7th, 2011, that is when I actually had my, um, my surgeon called it an iceberg, my tumor removal. But before that, we went to church. It was a Wednesday, and we all, we, it's kind of in downtown Memphis, so we kind of cleaned up the area because that's what I did. And my family's like, what are you doing? You have to be to the hospital in a couple hours. I'm like, this is what we do on Wednesdays. We clean up around the church area. And doing God's work. Doing God's work, that's right. And that's what we did. And then we went to the hospital, and I was supposed to be in surgery for eight and a half hours. I was in for five and a half. I was supposed to go to ICU. I did not go to ICU. I was supposed to be in the hospital for 10 to 21 days. I was in, I can't remember, it was either five or six nights. And then when I was out of the major surgery, I had no pain medication because I had no pain. No pain. That, in a, that alone is... Remarkable. Yeah, I mean, I'm cut from almost my breastbone to my pelvic bone, and then my ileostomy. I was either supposed to have an ileostomy or a colostomy for six to 18 months, and it was an ileostomy for three months, and no pain whatsoever. How about your physicians and, and the surgeons? Were they, were they faithful people as Absolutely. well? Absolutely. My, the GI who first did my colonoscopy, he called me at home, yeah. prayed with me, prayed after my surgery, oh. and actually just called maybe two months ago to see how I was doing. Definitely faith-filled, yes. And that alone gives you the, the, I mean, I would just think when they put you to sleep, that that gives you that oh, sense that peace. you're 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 covered. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I had a prayer list, 
and everybody, or you know, everybody signed up, and I'm sure people from up here prayed. Oh yes, you know, and yes. down there. But I have a list, and everybody prayed every half hour on the or on the hour every hour, and it was just yes. just knowing that, I think, gives you a peace. Absolutely, and that was in 2012. 2011. 2011. Mm -hmm. So then you've had your surgery. Um, you have. Um, you began the healing, the the real healing of of your body. Absolutely. Um, and how have things gone since then? Wonderfully. I ended up moving back here. This is where my family lives. Uh -huh. um, lived in the house that I actually grew up with my grandparents. And things have been, I work now at an animal hospital that I used to work at years ago. And things couldn't have gone any better. I'm thankful every day that I'm here to raise my daughter and to, you know, tell about God's will. I try to tell my story <laughs> to anyone, every, right? anybody that will listen. I do because yeah. I just want them to know that he is our healer. He's my healer and my physician. Yeah. He, what do you tell people though? And, and this is the hard part is, you know, there are people out there that don't survive. Absolutely. And that things don't go the way that they pray for. What does that mean then? Do you think? That it's in God's timing, and I, you know, I'm thankful for my timing still left here, mm -hmm. and I don't. All I can pray is that you know they have the courage and the strength, and I, you know, pray God's will, mm -hmm. and I just pray for them. Right, and that that He walks with them absolutely as they go through their journey. Absolutely, He is with them every step of the way of that. I have no doubt. Yeah, definitely. Well, I hope you continue telling your story because it does, it gives us hope. And for those people out there that are, are struggling right now and trying to figure out, is this all real? Is, you know, am I alone or am I not Absolutely alone? Absolutely not alone. No. No, you are never alone. He goes before you. Definitely. Yep. Before you, with you, behind you. That's He's right. all over, right? Absolutely. All right. Missy, thank you so very much for being with us and God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Back to you.